Welcome to Scout Dynamics and the newest addition to my armory, the Savage 110 Scout. This was my second choice. You can actually say my third choice. Every one of us Scouties have this desire somewhere deep inside us to be faithful to the late Colonel Cooper. The late Colonel Cooper helped design the Steyer Scout. It is the only one that he personally approved of before his passing. So if you want to be truly faithful to the late Colonel, you need to cough up the $1,800, get the Steyer. The only other way to be faithful to the Colonel is to custom build your own scout rifle that meets every last checklist of what constitutes a scout, which includes making weight. So, my second choice then was the Mossberg. Current events, supply chain problems, panic buying, the Mossberg to this day is not available. I have alerts out to various sporting goods stores giving me email alerts if and when it does become available. So my third choice was the Savage. And once the email alert came out that this was available, I jumped on it. Here it is. So how does this compare to its predecessor? The Model 10 FCM. For starters, the Model 10 FCM is what you might call purist traditional. Unless you invested in the side button release magazines 20 years ago, you're not going to find these. So if all you have is one four round magazine, you're not going to find one except maybe on eBay for triple digit prices. So the removal magazine now becomes a cleaning feature, not a reloading feature. You need to reload the old fashioned way, manually from the top. How, that was until, however, I personally modified a PMAG-10 to fit Savage 10 FCM completely unmodified. Previous video on how to do this. I can now go, as Richard Mann calls, tack tartish as well. So the 10 FCM, with my modified magazines, I can go both worlds. I have a foot in both worlds. Purest traditional and modern tactard, so to speak. In keeping with the purest traditional, my Rhodesian sling is a leather sling from Andy's Leather Products. Savage's new model 110, however, is firmly locked into what Richard Mann criticizes as tactardish. It comes with a 10-round AICS magazine. If you want to pay any kind of lip service to Pure's Traditional, you're going to have to get the 5-round AICS, which will bring you, even with the trigger guard, which the Pure's Traditional believe that if it's going to be even with the trigger guard, you need to have 10 rounds, not 5. In keeping with the rifle's tactardish image, I decided to go with a synthetic Rhodesian sling. My first choice was to actually add a third sling swivel and go with the PIG PMS, or Positive Mechanical Support Sling. This is a full-blown tactical sling. However, it appears that the PMS sling is no longer in production. The one that I demonstrated in my product review, I gifted to my niece's husband, and it has proudly found a home on an AR-15. So, while this appears to be tactardish, it does not have a quick adjust. This means that you cannot carry this in a tactard or tactical crossbody carry and bring it to bear in any amount of time. In order to do this, you'd have to quick release, get some slack in, and bring it up. 
With this, you cannot do it. This is basically a synthetic version of, tr of the traditional Rhodesian sling. As stated in my review of the pig sling, the material on the pig sling was excessively thin, so it was like a wet noodle. The wilderness sling, however, heavier material, it's not the wet noodle, and you can quickly sling up just as well, easily as you can, with the traditional leather sling. However, because it is not fully tactical, if you have to carry this thing tactical, you will have to go with what's called the improvised tactical carry. Ergonomically, changing magazines with the 110 magazine releases in the back far more tactical than you are using the modified P Mag 10 on the 10 FCM. Pressing that side button is more of a chore. I fitted this with the same Burris 2 to 7 scout scope. So both this one and the older 10 have the same scout scope. It also comes with an ergonomic modification kit, so you can change out the cheek weld and lengthen or shorten the buttstock as necessary. So you can pretty much customize this to your ergonomic preferences. It has the same Williams backup sights, but in keeping with its more tack tartish image, it has protected wing front sights. Unlike the Model 10 FCM, the rear peep sight does come with a small aperture insert, insert. The Model 10 did not. Another feature is the muzzle brake. Look forward to seeing this on my Arming the Unarmed series. People who have never fired a full power rifle before will scream in agony at firing the older Model 10. Firing this one with the muzzle brake, they're like, hey, I want one. So the muzzle brake does have an effect. Problems. Savage is having some quality control problems. When I first got this rifle, first off, the bolt is still very rough. So, not as rough as it was as the uh, Model 10 was. The Model 10 was quite rough at, until several hundred rounds were put through it, then it smoothed out. But another problem was that the chamber was rough and I had extraction problems. I could not extract that stuck casings. Now I should have sent this back to Savage, but the last thing I'm going to do is send this back and wait forever for it to come to return. So I, personally, I polished out the chamber myself. It's still a little on the rough side, so in the future You'll be seeing this on several videos, however, anytime rapid fire is required, the 10 FCM is going to carry that load until this one gets broken in. Which one's my favorite? Hard to say. Like I said, this is not a replacement for the 10, it is a complement to it. So, look forward to seeing this on future videos. And uh, except for the rapid fire and eventually when this gets broken you'll be seeing it there too. We'll probably have a shoot off and uh, like I said with our, in our arming the unarmed series look forward to some people firing this for the first time. Get a good laugh when they fire the older 10 and then relief when they fired the 110 with the muzzle brake. Thanks for watching like and subscribe look forward to some future videos.